hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this case, a tutorial about particles, or in this case, dust particles. As you can see, I got a scene right here from Detective Pikachu Noir, and I wanted to add some dust particles to this scene to make it look like he's in a dusty office. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Really simple, and I'm going to show you how to do it with a fancy plugin called Particular, which is actually a paid plugin. It does not come with After Effects, which is amazing, and it gives you a lot of options. But I'm also going to show you how to do it with the built-in plugins you get with After Effects. So you can do it with the plugins that come with After Effects. So let's get started. So I got a still image from our Detective Pikachu Noir video. It doesn't have any animation, uh, that's not the point. I'm just adding some particles to this. Uh, so let's do that right away. Um, I'm gonna start with adding a solid right there. And it doesn't matter what, uh, what color the solid is, but I'm gonna call this a particles. And I'm gonna make it 1920 by 1080 because that's the size of our video right here. I'm just gonna press okay. And you need a solid to put an effect like particles on it. You should not put it on the image itself or on the video itself. You need to put it on a solid. Uh, you shouldn't put it on an adjustment layer either. Just grab a solid and put it on there. So I'm going to my effects and presets panel right there. And I'm gonna start typing part as in particles. And I see a couple of options. Uh, the particular one that I'm gonna show later on, that's the, that's the paid plugin. And I got CC particle system here. These two work as well, but we're gonna go with particle systems too, which is actually very simple. And we're gonna start with that. And we're gonna drag this on the particle layer right there. And if I throw it on there and I scrub through the timeline, you can see right away that, well, Pikachu's uh, now fireworks. So uh, that's not exactly what we want, but we are going to go to about like uh, two or three seconds. So we actually start at a certain point in the animation. So basically this is the default that we're getting from CC particle systems too. So first thing we're gonna do is decrease the number of particles a second. So let's, let's uh, dial it down to like one. Well, that's still a lot. Let's go with 0.3. A low number. So now there's still a lot of particles, but it's a lot less. I think they should stick around longer because they're dust particles. And I'm going to turn that into, well, well, let's turn it up to like 20 seconds. But basically what I'm going to do is open up all these little tabs one by one and see what do they do? What can I do with this? This is like the physics, this is the particle. And I can open up all these little elements and change their settings and change their behavior. And it looks like there's a lot of settings, but if you start trying them out, just uh, tweaking them a little, uh, playing with them a little, you'll notice it's quite easy. So one of the first things that I'm going to change now is the producer right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make it a lot wider. I'm gonna make it a lot taller. So if I play now, the particles are actually going everywhere. Not just from this little point right here, but like all the way from all the sides of the screen. And one of the other things that we wanna do, right now I'm in the tab physics, I'm gonna change all the settings here. Explosive is actually fine, and I'm going to make the velocity, the speed of which they are emitted, I'm going to make that a lot slower. So in this case, 0.1, let's try that, let's play it. Well, they're, now they're falling like rain and voila, you made basically like sort of like a rain. See how simple that is. But that's because there's also gravity. And we don't want any gravity, zero gravity, because everything is just floating in the air. Now, if I play now, you can see like little, little dust, little more like fireflies or more like little mosquitoes. We don't want that yet, but we're getting there. And I think everything else is right for now. And the next thing I'm going to change is the particle. I got the particle open right here. And I will say, hmm, let's do faded sphere. All right, let's click that. And you get little, little balls. They're much bigger than those lines. So we're going to make those a lot smaller too. And it will actually tell me what's the size at birth and what's the size at death. Well, at birth, I think it should be a really small number, 0.0. .0 five and for the death size let's go with 0.2 maybe that's really small that's a that's a small particle uh, i can see size variation you know what let's go all the way up it can be any size and for opacity map there's some really basic options but let's go with fade in and fade out so nothing disappears or appears out of the blue and now under color map let's change the birth and the death color so let's change birth color to white there we go all the way to white and then let's change the death color to white as well that's totally fine so all the particles are white now so let's see how this looks right now you can see the particles come in and then they move around a little bit and i do think they are going too fast so let me just play that for a little bit 
that's really fast so that's that's a little much so i'm going to tweak that so let's say the velocity let's go to 0 0.05 that's really slow there we go there we go that's 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 quite slow and i like that this is basically what we want to do so one of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change their blend mode. So right now, all those particles are just like on top. There's more like snowflakes and we don't want that. We want it to be like more embedded into the scene. So what I can do is I can change the particles and I can change the blend mode to any of these right here. And I'm gonna go with overlay. So if I change it to overlay, it will get that yellowy tone from the light. And you can mostly see it in the mid tones, not in the most bright tones and not in the most dark tones, but you can see it fairly clearly in all those mid tones. So if I play it now, it will pretty much look like dust particles just floating around. They're a little big, so you guys can see it at home. I can make that a little smaller. So let's change that depth size to 0 0.1. They're a little bit smaller. There we go. That looks like dust. Now they do just appear from out of nowhere. They like right there at second zero, you can't see anything. And then if I scrub through the timeline, you can see them appear. Now this particle system is not that advanced. So I have to do like a little trick to make them appear. Like they basically, they need to start off screen, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this whole layer all the way to the left. I'm just gonna make it a little longer. And now when I play it, it will actually start with particles from the beginning. So that's a little workaround that you have to do to make this work. And that's because the particle system that comes with Adobe After Effects is a little limited. So basically that's all I can do. It's not 3D, it's not, it's fake 3D. And there's not a lot of control that I have, but I can definitely make some rain or some snow or some dust particles with it. Maybe some smoke or some fire, but you know, all in all, it's quite limited. But hey, it works. I'm happy, it will do the trick. All right, so let me show you guys how to do this with particular. If you have it, I can show you guys how to do it. Um, if you don't, you can stop the video right here or you can just keep watching it and see if it's interesting for you, uh, if a particular is interesting for you. And particularly is quite scary because it has a lot of options. Basically it has the same options as the previous plugin that I just showed you that comes with FRFX, but it just has more options. It has a lot more options. So I'm going to show you how that works. So let me make a new solid. I'm gonna call this particular. And I'm gonna press enter and I'm gonna type in part here and then we'll see particular. So let's start with that one. There we go, let's put it on there. And you can see it also starts with a, well, sort of like a snow effect, but it starts off with an effect. Actually, you can start with using the designer as you can see right here and you can change all sorts of stuff. And that's really nice as well. So if, uh, the, all the settings here are a little bit intimidating. You can start off designing it here. You can even start off with some presets uh, like this confetti here uh, or maybe some some fluids or, or all sorts of stuff that's really cool. So basically this is a lot more advanced than the particle system that comes with After Effects. But let's start from scratch anyway. As you can see, there's gonna be a lot more options here. And I'm going to open up the first one, which is emitter. And immediately a lot more options, but that's all good. And first thing we're going to do is instead of making this a point, everything come from the center, I'm going to make this into a box because the room is a box. And I will get some extra options. In this case, I actually need to change the emitter size, which is the box itself, and which will basically become like a box, a small box or a big box. And I can make it the same size of the room, let's say uh, 1500. And that should be enough. I think that should be enough. That's fine. And this is already so close to what we want, but it's a little too fast and the particles aren't the right size yet. But let's continue tweaking. Uh, direction uniform is great. If I wanted to go in one direction, we can do that as well. But for now, this is fine. And let's lower that velocity by, uh, so 100 is a little much. So maybe let's try 10. I'm not gonna start at the beginning, but I'm just gonna go and Play that a little bit. And you can see them blinking on and off because the particle life is really short. And I can change that in the next one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this up. I'm gonna open the particle one. And you can see it lives for three seconds, but I wanted to leave it for like, I don't know, 30 seconds. So now a lot of particles are popping in and they're not going anywhere. That's way too many particles. So let me close particle again. On the other plugin, I had to move this bar to the left to make it go off screen so it could start up, right? Luckily, we don't have to do that here. I can open up a global controls and say like, hey, pre-run for like 30 seconds. So let's do that. So now it's already running for 30 seconds. Again, it's a lot of particles. Let's open up emitter again and change that particles a second. Let's change that to maybe like three, All right? Let's change the velocity a little bit more so they move a little faster. A little bit more speed. 
that's great. I think the box size needs to be even bigger so they really cover the whole room. And you can see them blink in and out of existence. Now on the other plugin, I could say like fade in and fade out. And for this one, it's actually a little different. If I open up particle, I can actually say opacity over life. And if I open that up, you can see a little graph. And what I can do is I can draw it or I can use this, this little thing right here. And I can say like, hey, fade in and fade out. Doesn't have to be exact, this is fine for now. So fade in, then exist at 100% and then fade out. And maybe have them be at a maximum opacity of like 75, that are always a little bit transparent. And then opacity random, let's up that up a little bit. So all the particles have different opacities. So let's play now. There we go, and now there's stuff floating in the air. A little bit more complex, and I can do a lot more in this plugin. Uh, I can make them displace, I can make them drift, I can make them spin, have a motion path, and it's really, really advanced. I can add different particles on there, uh, maybe like little dust clouds, maybe little triangles, doesn't matter, and so on. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is also, I'm gonna put this to overlay, and then you can see those particles fit right in there. That's good. Zoom in a little bit so you can see those particles. That's fine by me. And you can see them fade in and fade out into existence and that's actually great. So one of the things why particular is so great is if I'm gonna add a camera, so I'm, let's say layer new and let's add a camera, I'm gonna press okay. And you can see those particles jump around a little bit because I just added a camera, but now I can actually zoom in on them and I increase the particles by a lot just to show you this uh, 3D camera effect. You can actually take that camera and zoom in and out now. If I animate the camera and if I would zoom in on this, So basically I could zoom in on the particles and on the background at the same time. So now I can actually go through the dust particles and they actually come towards the camera. And that's something you can't do with the particle systems that come with After Effects. And like I said, there's a lot more options. And uh, if you look at the screen, and right now I'm just showing you some stuff you can do with particular. Obviously that's really advanced. And, and for the simpler stuff, you can definitely use the stuff that comes with After Effects. So that's it, that's all for today. Showed you how to do it with Particular. I showed you how to do it with Particle System 2. Obviously the Particular one is a little bit more advanced. You can do a lot more stuff with it. Downside is that it is a paid plugin. I hope this tutorial showed you how to create a little bit more life and a little bit more depth in your scenes. You can use it for animation, you can use it for video. And that's all for today. If you wanna see more stuff like this, on the 64 Bits Extra channel. Be sure to subscribe, we're still growing. That would help us a lot. And see you next time. Bye bye, see you later.